yeah, we want to open this talk uh, with you, John Lut. Um, we are sure that you have a lot to share, to Global, to share, and the Global is, the ears are open. Uh, so I don't know how to introduce you, but you can, you can just introduce yourself. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you for having me here. My name is John Lut. And I am, um, I describe myself as a person with a deep desire of seeing the church in the realm of wisdom, operating under revelation from God. And as the Bible says that my mass is a new morning, I believe people do not yet know the meaning of the word mercy. Uh, because if God's mercies have the ability to be renewed every morning, that God looks at it and says, that I don't want you to use yesterday's mercy, you know? So what, what is it that changes the realms of mercy? So that's, that's what my desire is as a person and um, to be a blessing to the church in general and to the body of Christ and to those who want to know Jesus and to the world mm -hmm. and just to share with them the secrets of the truth of who God is. So that's, I think, um, the best way I can describe. Yeah, <laughs> I can describe uh, myself. You've mentioned so many in, mm. the, in the very short time. Mm. The church, the mm. body of Christ, now the, the God himself, the secrets. Mm. I, I think yeah, now the world we are is a place where by now everyone, everyone wants to go to deep and know what is the secrets. Mm. There must be secrets behind mm. every success. Uh, success thing that we see. Mm. There, there must be some things that people need to understand that are, that are still deep mm. secrets. Mm. And now I'm, I'm happy that you are confident, mm. that you are open mm -hmm. <laughs> to give out the secrets. Now, now these will no longer be secrets. Uh. <laughs> They're going to be revealed. That's so, true. The world is here. We are open to, to we want to, to, want to hear. Mm. Because you are mentioning the church, God himself, the secrets, Open the secrets. You want to just go in. Open. Let's go. Okay. Mm. So let's begin by, he's already here. I don't believe in inviting God mm. because I think that's a religious prayer. Mm. I think when people invite God, how, it's like inviting someone who is already the owner of the house. Mm. How can you invite someone home? Mm -hmm. So this concept that's of people saying... Secret. <laughs> 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 that's another secret. So this idea yeah. of people saying, God, we invite you. God is already here. Mm. The day you got born again, yeah. Christ takes over your house. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says your bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm. They are the temple. They will not be. Mm -hmm. They already mm. are. So that's a secret. <laughs> so it so means everywhere you enter, you don't need to pray for God to enter. Mm -hmm. You enter with God. The oh minute you took a step, yeah. God, God, God <laughs> took a step with you. Oh, so that's the secret. Mm -hmm. So my job is just, I always tell God, reveal, because mm -hmm. God is inside. Mm. And in order for you to see what is inside, mm -hmm. you must enter. Mm -hmm. The only way for you to know what is inside this house, mm -hmm. you must enter, enter in the house. So the, the prayer I pray before I start mm -hmm. is, God, allow me to enter mm -hmm. into the zone yes. where I can receive the secrets. Oh, nice. So that's it. So Father God, we thank you because you've given us the grace to enter. Mm -hmm. Open your word. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for revealing it again. Mm -hmm. Because you search to the depth of God. You are the only person who has been licensed by heaven mm -hmm. to see God in his nakedness. Mm -hmm. And therefore, King of Glory, reveal who he is. Reveal the secret parts. Reveal the most deepest thing that the mind has not perceived, the ear has not heard. Neither has it even entered into the hearts of men. Mm -hmm. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, thank you very much for, for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and, and I really want the viewers to know mm. that I am not any better than you. Mm. Uh, none of us is. We are all sons. It's just that as sons, mm. there are those who are firstborns by default. In other words, you did not choose. <laughs> but again, when it comes to wisdom, mm. there are those who are firstborns because of the hunger. Mm. You get what I'm yes, saying? Yes, yes, so yes. it is the hunger that mm. puts you on a higher level than oh, others. Oh, yes. So how, how, how hungry you are to know God mm determines the reaction mm. God gives to you. Oh, so okay. I know you as a family, this has been my people for over 10 years, mm -hmm. you have five kids. Mm -hmm. But out of all ch those children, you realize you, all, you love them the same. Mm -hmm. But how they respond, mm -hmm. how they see you is how you respond mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. If one sees you as just a dad, mm -hmm. then you respond as a father. Mm -hmm. 
you ask someone who sees you as a friend, then you respond with advice. So it just depends on how we see God. And that's why I'm here today. So I'm, I don't regard myself to be higher than anyone. I just believe that I have... I have a hunger that allows God to show me things that probably will not be yet readily available. But because of the love of Christ, he gives us media, social media platforms that the world has created, but the world has been tired to create, but as we use them. Yeah, so that's just it. So today I want to share with you something the Lord put in my heart. And I'll uh, be very specific. He put it yesterday at 11 midnight. Uh, so I normally take time in the night mm. to just come to God's presence and just keep quiet. Mm. One of the people I was sharing with, uh, um, uh, she asked me, how, how is it possible mm. that you, I told them, it's possible for you to be in a room without anyone and not think for like four hours and not realize four hours have passed. Mm. And then the lady was asking me, how, how possible is, is it possible for you not to think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it possible to just not to think, don't, don't think about children, don't think, just be there. Mm. And I came to realize the easiest way for you to know God mm. is for you to be less occupied with the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To be less occupied with the world means to be, to be empty. Mm. Because as God, space can only be filled mm -hmm. when it's already empty. Mm. You cannot have two people looking for a house that is already rented. Mm. And one of the signs for you to look for a house is when you don't see the curtains. Mm. So when you see the curtains, mm -hmm. do you go to ask for the house? No. So curtains, huh, curtains are a sign mm. that there is no one. Mm -hmm. There is someone. Curtains are a sign that there is someone. Mm -hmm. No curtains are a sign that there is no, no one. one yes. So that is something I've realized. When I was telling this lady that it's possible for you not to think, it's just telling God, you know what, I, I want you to feel me. Mm. Because I've learned the masses of God are new every morning. Oh. So I don't want to use yesterday's mercy, mm. yesterday's revelation, yesterday's knowledge. Mm. And then I hear a lot of people saying that like yesterday, mm. and I hope this will be understood the right way. Yesterday, yes. someone, I had someone say, I, I, the God of Elijah, mm. the God <laughs> of, of Adam, Abraham, mm. you know, that's mm. good for religion. Mm. But it means you have not proven your God mm. enough for people to say the God of Papa Emile. Mm. Why are we using a past God when it's a current mercy? Mm -hmm. How effective is a past revelation of God mm -hmm. into a current mm -hmm. understanding? Mm -hmm. And you see the Bible says that many prophets wanted to see and hear what you've had, but they didn't. So it means you're more powerful than Elijah because Elijah yes. did not have the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. So this idea of people thinking that if they called, put the word Abraham before God, God moves. No, there's <laughs> nothing like that. <laughs> there's nothing like that. Oh. Elijah was able to call Moses, mm -hmm. I mean was able to call fire mm -hmm. without the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. you see? Mm. Elisha mm. was able to part the sea mm -hmm. and receive a double portion mm. without the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then now here comes an angel who tells Mary, you are highly favored. Why are you favored? It took favor for Mary to carry Jesus. If the angel would not have regarded Mary as favored, mm -hmm. she, did not, she could not have had the capacity mm -hmm. to handle God himself. Mm -hmm. So God had to first release the favor. Mm -hmm. Favor simply means you do not deserve. He releases what you do not deserve before he put Jesus inside. Yes. Mm -hmm. So nowadays I always ask myself, is it that the church has no idea of the power behind that name? Mm -hmm. Or they have no revelation mm -hmm. of who that person is? Mm -hmm. Because once you understand that in the Old Testament, they did the biggest things they did mm -hmm. without the name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was, God was there, mm -hmm. but the name was not there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. The word, Hebrew, the Bible says, uh, uh, and in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. Mm -hmm. And verse 14, the Bible says, and the word, the word became flesh. It's mm -hmm. Jesus mm -hmm. we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, in the Old Testament, the word had not yet been made flesh. Mm -hmm. The world became flesh some thousands of years ago, like 2,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. So now it means the word that they were, was coming, sending fire from <laughs> heaven, uh -huh. did not now need to send fire from heaven. It just, now it's you to understand the fire is now with us on earth. This is serious. So uh -huh. God does no longer need to, <laughs> to send anything from heaven. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Jesus says, when I go, I will send. The only last thing that was supposed to send from heaven mm. was the Holy Spirit. Mm. And when he went, the Holy Spirit is now here. Mm -hmm. 
He does not come and go. Actually, I always tell people, the Holy Spirit has no home in heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus says, I will send you. If an ambassador, the other day I was uh, uh, in, 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 in the office of my ambassador in the country I come from. Mm -hmm. When you go to the ambassador, does the ambassador of that country move from, for example, if it's Kenya, does he move every day from Kenya to China, Kenya to China, Kenya yeah. to China? No. When you are meant to be an ambassador, and the Bible says we are ambassadors of Christ, mm. when you are told that you are an ambassador in a certain country, it means you move mm. to that country. Yes. Now, Jesus moved the Holy Spirit mm. to the this earth. Country. And this is our country now. <laughs> the world is a country. <laughs> yes. So there is nothing coming from heaven. Mm, that goes bad. Can we go is back? that it? <laughs> or maybe, we are, maybe there are some replacements. <laughs> the concept of replacement. Same. You can imagine. We're to be replaced. Mm. Amanda, we're waiting for another ambassador. Can you imagine? To come. And there's no other so ambassador. He's here. He's here. With us. So, this idea of people thinking mm. that God sends things from heaven, yeah. the reason why that was happening is because the Holy Spirit was not around. Mm. But now God has told you mm. every day of your life, mm. He's here with you. Yeah. He's here. Now what you need to do, talk to him like you talk to me. Mm. Do you talk to, to your wife like this? <laughs> no. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Is this how you talk to her? No. Mm. You talk to her on the level mm. that you are. Mm. You are. Mm. So God is here with us. Actually, this is the meaning of Emmanuel. God with us. Not God in heaven not looking God, at us. Not God sending the fire. <laughs> <laughs> not sending now the fire. The fire now the fire is here. Oh, that's another secret. That fire is already here. <laughs> yes. The way the God who created, think of it, eh? Papa yes. Emile, the yeah. God who created the heavens and the earth, mm. Noris la Cabrosis, the God who created it, mm. is here. Mm. Is here with yes. us. Yeah, yes. Now the problem with us, Christian religion has taught us that. We have to go to where he is. You can't. That's why he came to where we are. To from Abraham. Exactly. And think if you put the name Abraham, now God will be moved to say, they put Abraham. Okay, so let's come. You see what I'm saying? And let me tell you something. Abraham was important because he was the version of a father. When Jesus came, every prophet was replaced mm -hmm. with Christ. Through him, with, in him, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, every, the, 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 the concept of Elijah mm -hmm. showing power, mm -hmm. Abraham mm -hmm. being a father, mm -hmm. Adam mm -hmm. being a beginner, mm -hmm. all those things mm -hmm. could not be fit in one person. Mm -hmm. That's why God had to send. Mm -hmm. God had to put everyone in their line. Mm -hmm. But now God looks and says, I'm looking for one person mm -hmm. who can be a father, mm -hmm. who can be a son, mm -hmm. who can be the Holy Spirit, who, who, can, can, be a, who can call the fire, <laughs> who can be a friend, who can part oh. the waters, who can love, mm -hmm. who can give. Mm -hmm. And then God looked around and saw Michael could not mm -hmm. as an angel. Mm -hmm. Gabriel could only come to be a talk. The Bible says he's actually an angel of messenger. Mm -hmm. So the only concept of Gabriel we know mm -hmm. is a messenger. Mm -hmm. Gabriel can not fight, mm -hmm. but Jesus, the Bible says, he's the mighty, he's the Lord of hosts. It yes. means as a fighter, yes. he, fights. he fights. The yes. Bible says in John 3, 16, mm -hmm. for God so loved the world. As a lover, mm -hmm. he loves. Yes. The totality. The, the totality, totality of God. The package, the full package. The package of God. Yeah. So from Genesis mm -hmm. all the way to the last prophet who was called Malachi. Actually, mm -hmm. people do not know Malachi was a prophet. Mm -hmm. When he was, he, Malachi was the person who re brought the revelation of tithing and offering, we have robbed God and that. Mm. From Genesis all the way to Malachi, mm. it was God trying to look mm. for his totality in a man mm. and he couldn't find it. Mm. Now what did God do? Mm. That's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> when God realized, because he already knew, but he was just giving man the mm. opportunity to mm. understand, mm. it's only him mm. who can be him yes. in us. Mm -hmm. But as long as you try to be him, mm. you end up failing. Mm -hmm. He gave the Ten Commandments. None of us could keep it. Mm -hmm. He gave the laws. None of us could keep it. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says he did not come to destroy. Mm -hmm. Notice, but mm -hmm. that the law through him might be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Jesus came to fulfill the totality mm -hmm. of God on earth. Mm -hmm. And that is why now Jesus comes. Mm -hmm. Now when you see Jesus, you see the one who caused, brought the fire. Mm -hmm. When you see Jesus, mm -hmm. you see the one who, brought the father. who was the father. Mm -hmm. When you see Jesus, all the prophets and their assignments were poured on Jesus. Yeah. 
And now Jesus says, <laughs> when you know the truth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the truth will set you free. Mm -hmm. But that scripture, I went on and finding out the, the, uh, the, the dictionary translation of the word truth. Mm -hmm. And then I read in the dictionary the understanding of men mm -hmm. that the word truth means something you did not know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I, I, I realized if one plus one, if you ask your three-year-old mm -hmm. or a two-year-old, I have my children, mm -hmm. before they get to a class that can teach them one plus one is two, mm -hmm. so when they know one plus one is two, they have known, that's knowledge. Mm -hmm. Then I ask God, when I want to know how to drive, I go to school. Is that what, what you really meant mm -hmm. when you say ye shall know the truth? Could there be a realm of truth mm -hmm. that is bigger than the understanding that the what you are taught in school? Mm -hmm. Then I was taken to a scripture in the same Bible. Mm -hmm. Jesus answers himself. When he tells you he shall know the truth, this is what he means. Mm -hmm. I am the way, mm -hmm. the truth, mm -hmm. and the life. Mm -hmm. Now what Jesus is trying to tell us, mm -hmm. ye shall know me. Mm -hmm. Be not Elijah, <laughs> not yeah. Moses, not who. Yeah. Those who are versions of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when you know me, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. will set, set you free. free. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am the person I want you to know. Mm -hmm. But Jesus was trying to tell people, he shall know the truth. And many people still do not know what the truth is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The truth is Christ. Mm -hmm. When you know Jesus, mm -hmm. you are free. Mm -hmm. I differ with people who try to teach people mm -hmm. that you can be saved and be possessed by a demon. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Can I shock you, mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, a pastor? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. When Jesus comes, the Bible says he comes uh, when he's going to look for his disciples. Mm -hmm. Where did he look for his disciples? Mm -hmm. First sets of brothers, he found them fishing. Mm -hmm. We don't see a church there. Mm -hmm. Those days were temples that were more powerful mm -hmm. than today. Yes. Actually, the Bible, many of the time the Bible says, and Jesus went into the courts. Mm -hmm. So it means, it's not that he did not know there were churches that existed, mm -hmm. but he decided to boycott the system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus does not <clears throat> look for a concept that man has created. Mm -hmm. Jesus looks for hunger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are hungry. Mm -hmm. That's why there are many, if you see a great businessman, mm -hmm. That's hunger, but it, they have not, they've equivalent their hunger into business. Mm -hmm. But if you really check what brings hunger, mm -hmm. is an emptiness and only God can fill. Oh my goodness, you can have to, you have to repeat that statement. Now, they, you see people who are very aggressive and they want to reach and to something, but for sure, the hunger they have is God. If you really ask, mm. have you ever asked yourself, for example, let's take like one of the richest people, mm. Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, mm. and Robert Kiyosakis. Mm. What don't they have mm -hmm. when it comes to the worldly things? Mm -hmm. What can't they buy? Mm. That's the question. Now let me ask you, like now, like, let, let's say like someone like Nicki Minaj. For example. So now, Nicki Minaj, you know, those performances, kina Beyonce, kina Jay-Z, mm -hmm. kina Cristiano Ronaldo, kina uh -huh, Messi, they uh -huh. go to the field, they play like crazy, kina. So, now, they still have, there's something that is they're looking for. And they, so, have achieved it. they have achieved it. Messi is one of the greatest player in the world. Mm -hmm. He's already gotten to the roof. Let me repeat that mm -hmm. statement. Mm -hmm. He's already on the roof. Mm -hmm. So if it's money, he has it. Mm. If it's fame, he has it. Why, what why is that thing that still... Yeah, why, is it? <laughs> why doesn't he stop? What is that thing that still makes him wake up tomorrow mm -hmm. and go back? And, go back. and that thing is what people have described mm. as it's a, it's a desire. No. Mm -hmm. That football ability cannot fill the positions of their heart. No. The fans cannot feel the... There is always an emptiness that when he know the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth will set you free. Set you free. Oh. <laughs> Nothing can replace God in the life of a, of a human ah, being. And I'll even take it deeper. Mm. Even with those that have no idea who God is, yes, yes. their hearts bear witness. Mm -hmm. They know. Mm. And that's why you can find someone is a billionaire. Mm. But still, mm. you wonder they wake up in the morning. Mm. It's because the drive, mm. the drive is bigger than the possessions. Mm. Let me repeat that. Ah, yeah, yeah, the yeah. drive is bigger than the possessions. Mm. And once those people understand mm. that it's really Christ they are looking for. Mm. Oh my God. It's really free. Christ they are looking for. Mm. 
they are not free. Why, you know? Mm -hmm. Because they wake up in the morning wanting to always stay number one. Mm -hmm. Always stay number one. So it's the pressure that is keeping them there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you have Jesus, you realize you are number you are one. Number one. <laughs> You so are not free. becoming, <laughs> so you become free from the pressure. So now Messi knows that I'm number one. I am one. number I have one, I have Jesus. Oh my goodness. Oh my so goodness. It's, it's not, when you have Jesus, mm. it's not about fighting to keep a position. Mm. It's mm. fighting from the position itself. Rosa yes. takabagados. Yes. It's not about fighting to mm. keep mm. the position. Mm. It's fighting from the position oh itself. My oh my God, oh my God. I think that's what... It, that's, that's the spirit that David had when he was, he was asking the brother, <laughs> or even when he was talking to the king himself, telling him, King, I, I'm here to fight that man <laughs> because I know I'm number one. <laughs> you see? <laughs> yes. It uh, is one thing mm -hmm. for someone to fight to win. Yes. Ross. Mm -hmm. Yes. Relimro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's another thing mm -hmm. for someone to fight from the position, the position of a winner. Yes, yeah. They already know they have won. They have won yeah. Oh my goodness. That's why Jesus mm. made us understand. Mm. For we wrestle not. The big word is not. Mm. Against flesh mm -hmm. and blood. Mm -hmm. But against principalities, powers and rulers in high places. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I went deeper with that statement, another secret to ask God. So how should a Christian mm -hmm. fight? Mm -hmm. You see, one friend of mine told me, mm. man of God, how comes you quote scriptures? You don't need to. Let me make a very dangerous statement. Okay, do it. Make it. A very dangerous make statement. Make it. We are here. Yeah. A Christian must get to the point mm. where this book mm -hmm. is opened in the heart mm. and not in the hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, I will write my laws in your heart. Mm -hmm. That's why there are very few places. One place Jesus went into the place and says, today, he read a scripture and this was, he said, today, this scripture has been fulfilled. <laughs> and the Bible says, and he closed the book. Yeah, and he went. He is the book. Mm. <laughs> so now, what about this concept of telling us that you have to be walking with the no, Bible? No, no, no. This is yeah. God in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Let me make another dangerous statement. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is this mm -hmm. in your heart. Yeah. Oh, people, I pray that people may know. Mm, mm, mm. The Holy Spirit came to transfer this mm. into your heart. Mm, mm. Now you no longer read it like this because you forget. <laughs> this requires the brain. The brain, yes. Yeah, true. It's not about memorizing. It's not about memory. <laughs> yes. Why don't you ask yourself how come someone is in the church and they are mad? Mm -hmm. Because they are here. Mm -hmm. They are in the memory. Mm -hmm. And then the memory reminds me, you are a Christian. And then like, oh, I'm a Christian. <laughs> you are a Stuka. That's the purpose of memory. Mm, mm, mm. But when God writes this in your heart, how mm. does he do it? Through the power mm. of the Holy mm. Spirit. Mm. God makes this word mm. alive in you. Mm. You automatically begin to function like mm. it. It's a default. You don't, you don't even choose to. Mm. When you go somewhere, you don't even think of talking about Jesus. Mm. It's in your mind. It's in your spirit. Mm. It just flows. It flows. Yeah, thank you very These much. These words have been written in your heart. Yes. Mm. You've been quoting now this, uh, this, this word that, that says that uh, we are not fighting the flesh, whatever, but this, this principality. And that's why I was coming to... And then to... you asked God... How to the Christian fight? That's where we were. And then as I was explaining this, mm -hmm. thank you for. <laughs> I was not forgotten, yes, but I just I think that Christians, we 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 run to the roof mm. instead of being there when the foundation is being dug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so anyone who's enjoying the roof, mm -hmm. they have no idea what it takes to make the roof stand. Yes, I mm. So I asked Jesus, mm. how should a Christian fight? Mm -hmm. And this is the answer He gave me. The Bible says, eh? hmm. fight the good fight of faith. Mm. Paul was telling mm. them in the Bible. Mm. You fight. Mm -hmm. How a Christian fights mm. is to believe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm. That's why the first fight, if you want to know that believing is the most important fight, mm -hmm. it's not what we think, oh God, I pull down, I break the demons, watch are you? Mm -hmm. That's a level of Christianity. Mm -hmm. And I know maybe some people, I don't know, mm -hmm. but there's another <laughs> higher realm. 
mm. where demons are not involved in your prayer. Mm -hmm. Did you see Jesus praying about <laughs> demons? Have you seen? Even when the children of God asked him, mm. he said, teach us how to pray. Mm. There are people, 90% of the church today, when you talk of prayer, you talk of, to them it's war. Mm -hmm. They have seen prayer from the war perspective. Mm. So Jesus says it, our Father. Is there a war involved there? <laughs> you, you, <laughs> oh God, I thank you. Is there a war involved there? Our Father, who art in heaven. Is there anything worrying? Hello, be, listen. You're even telling God, hi God. Hello be thy name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Are you seeing any war? Um, and forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. War comes. Oh, God, Jenny. Because Satan is not a point of conversation. Satan should not be. I don't believe a man of God should pay 30 minutes to teach people about Satan on TV. Satan? No. No, no, no. We tell people about he who the son sets free is free. We talk about the one who sets you free. And once you understand these secrets, you fight from a position of a winner. I like that the fact that Jesus is the only character who didn't leave anything hanging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen any a prophet say that he looked up and said it is finished? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's the only character. Mm -hmm. Because he's the beginner, and mm -hmm. the Bible says he's the author and finisher. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus says it is finished, it is. there is nothing beyond what he did. Yes. There is nothing beyond nothing. it. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Why would you need my God? When God is already there in Christ, mm -hmm. why would you need to call my God? <laughs> why, would you, why would you need to call the God of Abraham? Mm -hmm. And that God did not tell people it is finished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If at all, Abraham had a version of, of God as a father. Mm -hmm. We have his version as a son, mm -hmm. at first as a father because of the Old Testament, as a son because of the New Testament, mm -hmm. and as the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We have the totality of God living in us. Mm -hmm. So we understand that we fight from the position of a winner. Mm -hmm. And my concept today, what I wanted people to know, mm -hmm. when you know mm -hmm. the truth, mm -hmm. it is that truth, that truth, mm -hmm. actually. So why would Jesus say, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. When you, when, time. Mm -hmm. Not everyone knows it. Mm -hmm. When mm. he talks of our time, a place you get to, mm -hmm. that the truth hits you mm -hmm. and you realize. Mm. So it's possible to live stress free mm -hmm. without taking medicine. Mm. Today they have even created medicine for stress. Mm. Let me ask you about what is stress? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? You know, people lose their money because of things that don't have meaning. Mm. What is stress? Mm. They, what is stress? I, I, I personally, where I come from, we, we don't know that language and probably I don't, what is stress? What is really stress? Mm -hmm. Stress is accumulation of self. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stress is when you see self, mm -hmm. when your eye moves from God mm -hmm. and focus on self, mm -hmm. you become stressed mm -hmm. because you realize the economy is falling, mm -hmm. because you realize someone died, mm -hmm. because you realize you don't have this, mm -hmm. because that's when your eye comes from God, people who are stressful mm. are people who don't look at him. Yes. Mm. And this is not how we look at him. Mm. Mm. Actually, the one scripture that says, for I look up to the hills, mm. where does my help come from? Mm. And then, <laughs> I don't know whether I should say that. For I look up to the hills. Mm. I don't pray that prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm. I change the word hills. Mm. And then I say, for I look into my heart. Mm. Where does my help come from? Mm. In my heart. God is no longer there. Mm. God is in me. Mm. He lives in my heart. The Bible says your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm. He's in me. Mm. These are the secrets to the kingdom of God. Mm. And lastly, I would say this. Secrets are not given to servants. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. <laughs> Actually, there are three ways that scripture calls us. Mm. 
it starts by calling us uh, children. Mm -hmm. It goes to servants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It goes to sons. Mm -hmm. People like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Me, I've, I've moved to probably the last realm. Mm -hmm. but Jesus says, you are my friends. Mm -hmm. My friend. Mm -hmm. I can tell you the truth. A lot of us have parents. Mm -hmm. I lost my dad not long ago. Mm -hmm. But my dad was very secretive. And I'm his son. <laughs> I'm his son and I still don't know everything about him. And then God told me, do you want to know me? Be my friend. Let's be friends. And that's when I realized where David and Jonathan had gotten to. He was his friend. Because only a friend could do what Jonathan did. This is not a small thing. Jonathan could tell David his father is coming to kill him. What, where are you? Mm -hmm. What realm is that that you can look at your own dad mm -hmm. and refuse mm -hmm. and look at your friend and say, my friend is right. Mm -hmm. You, you are not right. Mm -hmm. So this is beyond blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beyond genealogy. Oh, you, are the, you know, we are, you know they are, we are just, they are people who they are brothers because they are brothers. Mm -hmm. You can't change that. Mm -hmm. And they are sisters because they are sisters. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get what I'm saying? You can't change it. Mm -hmm. But to be a friend is a choice. You can choose not to be a friend. Mm -hmm. So that is the only realm God has allowed you to choose. You can choose to be God's friend. And God tells you, when you are my friend, I will give you the treasures in the secret places. Treasure is something beyond money. What God is trying to tell you, I will give you me. 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 Because when the treasure is money, it's still a version of God. God as a person who prospers. When the treasure is things. Mm. But me, I've allowed God, I've seen God as everything I need poured mm. in him. Mm. So the treasure is Jesus. Mm. So when God sent his son, that was the treasure. Mm. That was the treasure. Mm. But when we look at Jesus, we just see him as a son of God. Mm. But to me, mm. he's God the Father, God the Son, mm. God the Holy Spirit. Mm. The totality of God is locked in Christ. Mm -hmm. And then now Christ tells you, Behold, I stand at the door mm -hmm. and knock. The treasure is even coming to look for you. <laughs> knocking. And it's even knocking. Mm -hmm. When someone knocks, imagine God in all his wisdom. God can decide to break down the door. Mm -hmm. But he stands. Just pass on the wall. <laughs> yes. But he decides to do this, mm -hmm. to knock. Mm -hmm. And then he says this, if any man mm -hmm. hears, hears, mm -hmm. you cannot hear until God knocks. Mm -hmm. Because in order, in order for the person inside to respond, mm -hmm. they must some, first someone knock. Mm -hmm. Then you hear, then you respond. Mm -hmm. So God is always knocking. And he's a good friend. He's always knocking. Mm -hmm. And I believe strongly that the Bible says that at the end I will pour out my spirit and your sons and daughters will prophesy and they all shall dream dreams. I believe that the spirit of God has been revealed. It was poured when, the, when John says, I, eh, when it came as a dove, people still think it's being poured. No, no, no. It was poured when Jesus was baptized. The Bible says, and John bears witness of the spirit of God landing on him. That is the time it was poured. It is over 2,000 years old on earth. So now, if it has been poured, mm -hmm. where is it? Mm -hmm. Who was it poured to? It was poured on one person. It was not poured. God does not waste. Mm -hmm. He only poured it on Christ. And now Christ, he was empowered to preach to us. And then he tells us, whatever was poured on me, mm -hmm. I have poured to you. Mm -hmm. Now you, by faith, you will do the things I did and even greater. I believe the church, the hunger equals equals your hunger will equal your knowledge mm. your hunger will equal your knowledge that's why there are people who are hungry as doctors mm. they hunger for for the knowledge of doctor mm. they become doctor mm. it is what you hunger for mm. that you become can i repeat that statement I do it. <coughs> it is what you hunger for that you become mm. if you hunger to know god mm. you will become like him mm. actually the scripture i read Psalms 82 verse 6, 
that change the way I see me, not God. God has no problem the way he sees himself. That's why Satan came to man. Did Satan go to God and tell God, God, has, have you ever seen Satan try to convince God to change his, his, his nationality and who he really is? But he comes to someone who doesn't know themselves. Did God really tell you? Believe. He's joking with the belief. Did God really tell you that if you eat of this food? Are you sure? Are you sure? He's joking with what you already believe. So a lot of people give certain space to negotiate. Why would you even give him space? I know who I am. Why do you need, I need to listen to you to tell me who I am? No. And I believe that's where the church needs to get to. People to really hunger to know God as a person. God is not a spirit out there that is just roaming without entrance. Mm -hmm. eh? You know the way cartoons just put these spirits and then they, people have a concept of thinking angels, I even have wings, and then they're like, Ooh, they come. <laughs> no, no, no. God is a person. God is a person. I just want Christians to know, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Your job is just to know it. Its job is to set you free. That's what it means. You know Jesus, Jesus sets you free. It didn't say Jesus sets you free, then you know him. A lot of people think I cannot get saved. Let me first finish drinking. No, 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 you can't. The freedom is, is with Christ. But if you come the way you are, Christ begins to work on you. To work on you. You now realize automatically the things I used to love, I don't love them no more. Now I begin to love what he loves. Just, it's not even, you're not being forced. You now begin to love what I love. And for me personally, I just sat down and decided to go beyond theology. Thank God for those who teach it. That's okay. But I think if you add hunger to theology, you just know God in another way that the world doesn't. So I encourage you, there is a truth. And that truth is in secret. And it's just like the body of a man when a doctor is operating someone. For them to, to take the baby out, they must open. Or for them to get to your liver, they must open. So, so many people see salvation as this, the closed package. But to know the truth is when you begin to dissect it and enter inside and really find out where is the stomach, where is the liver, and take what you want from it. So that's what I believe in. Now, um, uh, you see, in our introduction, we, we, we talked about the truth that is hidden, that is about to be revealed. And I'm sure that um, some, of, some of the things that we've talked about are really deep secrets. But now I'm, I'm trying to, to imagine a woman or a man that is in China, that is in um, Mogadishu. <laughs> Where is Mogadishu? <laughs> in Somalia. <laughs> in Somalia. <laughs> Someone that is a Muslim, you see, mm. you see, people are hungry. People have the hunger. Um, uh, people, people are into. There are people who are into a place where they are looking for something. And we are talking about the truth that will set you free. First of all, free from what? That's number one. But I want you to see this woman or this man. This woman, man who is a Hindu now, who is a Christian now, religion. Um, because. You see, you'll see people gathering, see people going to look for God, because the, the hunger is there. But now, how can we put our direction on one truth? Because uh, me, me, I know that the moment that the world is going to understand, I think that the moment the world will understand Jesus in a package of global package, I mean, Jesus for Hindu, okay? Jesus for Muslim, mm -hmm. <coughs> Jesus for, for footballer. Because I, I remember one day I talked to one, one footballer, a guy who wants to make it professional. He's a professional in a certain country, but he wants to be so big. I used to, I used to be playing with him. Then they come to be my friends because of the way I used to play well. And then after the playing, I'm a, a bit different. So they, 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 they became my friends. And then they thought I'm a good person. So we became friends. So at the end of the day, they found I'm a, I'm a Christian, someone who goes to church. And now we talked about it. But now they, they, they brought me a concept of 
like you see as footballers um our performances are sundays and weekends so we can't go to church mm. you understand so what i'm saying is uh, how can we package how can we give this truth to anyone a businessman a footballer someone who yani, a muslim a sheikh how, how can you bring jesus to a sheikh mm. and Nicki Minaj, you know mm. a beyonce mm. um, uh, who, who else? A president, mm. someone who is a president, mm. a minister, and this person who, but still, as you mentioned earlier, still this position, this football you play, this music you sing, this money you hold is not fully, fully satisfied. And putting you to that level, you feel I'm okay, mm -hmm. I'm done. Mm. And we've already come to one agreement, even to anyone who is listening to us, that the only thing can can make a man feel sus yani, I'm fully is God. Now, how you how do we bring this truth to any person in in their lives? Now I I, I, I know that you I say one you hear one how <laughs> <now. laughs> uh, this this uh, is the minute. this is the I like the question. One and, minute and one minute uh, how do you mention that? Uh, uh, yes. I like the question yes. and I believe that's a very powerful question mm. that represents billions of people mm. all over the world. Mm. I'll, I'll tell you this, the easiest way, mm. which is the most godly way, mm. two things. First, mm. the Bible says faith mm. comes mm. by hearing. Take it to Revelation, mm. behold I stand at the door. Mm. Door is now faith coming, but it can only come up to the door. Mm. Okay? Mm. If any man, any, any, you mm. see, Jesus is also if Christians, mm. he says, any man, mm. Beyonce, the, when you're saying them, Hindus, mm. Muslims, mm. all of them, Nicki Minajes, yes. if any man, mm. that's why it's sad for those people who think they have the capacity to lock the doors of people. Mm. No Christian should be. God has given the capacity to say who enters the church and who doesn't. Mm. That is God's business. Mm. God is like a judge. Mm -hmm. The judge can say your case will be tomorrow. Mm. You, your case will be next year. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you see? So the question you're asking <clears throat> is how does this word, how do we bring Christ mm. to, to their package and to their understanding mm. and then pull them to our understanding? Mm. It's very simple. Mm. Faith cometh by hearing. Mm. Jesus spoke so many times, and that's why the Bible says, and he taught, mm. and he taught. Mm. That's why we are doing what we are doing. Mm. We realize they cannot come to us, mm. so we go to them. Mm -hmm. We tell them about Jesus. Mm. 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 Because it is what you hear that builds your faith. Mm. 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 Faith cometh by. Whatever faith comes, mm. it, faith is not born with. Faith <coughs> comes. Mm. You see, mm. it's somewhere waiting for you to come, for it to come mm. after you hear. Mm. We now need to up our revelation mm. so that when they hear, mm. they, they will receive. Mm. Faith cometh by hearing. Mm. Because these people have not heard God the way we are talking. Mm -hmm. If a Muslim hears God in secrets, in, in treasure, mm. he sees the treasures of who God is. Mm. Mm. And remember, mm. Revelation says, Behold, I stand. Mm. No one brought Jesus to the door. Mm -hmm. Mm. It is not our job to bring Jesus. Mm. It is our job to just make sure when he rings the bell, mm. Be aware. we want you to know mm. someone is... Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's what mm. we are doing. Mm. Mm. We cannot bring Jesus to mm. the door. Mm. 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 Actually, the Bible says, Behold, I stand. Did he say, Behold, they have brought me to stand at the door? <laughs> It is me who chooses oh, oh, the door no, I, get you, I want no, I to get stand you, no, on. Get you, so, yeah. so I believe mm. the person listening to us, mm. it is God who has allowed them. Mm. It is God who has brought himself to their doors. Mm -hmm, mm. And our, me and you and her, mm. our job mm. is to just make sure your ear, which is your heart, mm. there is an ear, it's called, the, it's called the understanding. It's not these ears. Mm. If there is an ear that you listen to that says that knock is not a normal knock. Mm. I've been married for a while and I've realized that there's a way a wife, your wife can knock. Mm. 
-hmm. and you know that's your wife. Yes. <laughs> and there's a way an, a person can knock and know, hey, that uh, knock is not normal. Actually, your wife, <laughs> your wife does not knock. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's just a walk, just, you know, <laughs> the, the style of walking. You get what I'm saying? Until now, you know even the knock. Uh, and then there's, some, there's a way someone can knock. Yes. Mm. Like, like the other day my, when I was home, my wife knocked in a way. Mm. And then when I came in, mm. when, I mean when I opened the door, there's a question. When, you, when I saw her, I left her. I didn't invite her. Mm. Because say, it's obvious this is your house. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when Jesus is standing at the door, mm. when you make a good mistake of opening, mm. you, mm. you make a mistake of opening. Mm. Now the Bible says, I will come in. Mm. Even when you open the door, you mm. still do not have the power to bring, him, to bring him, in. him in. To tell him welcome. No, no, no. He just says, I mm. will come in, in and dine with you. Yes. Your job is just to open. So mm. our job mm. is to make sure their doors are open. Mm. Their hearts are open. Mm. That is the door mm. to salvation. Mm. And I believe that's why God is pouring out revelation. Mm. A revelation that unlocks the truth. Mm. That when you listen to what we are saying, you cannot not believe it. Mm. It's impossible. Because mm. this voice, mm. they ask John the Baptist, mm. are you the Messiah? John says, no. Mm -hmm. He says, who are you? Mm. I like the answer he gave. Mm. He said, I am the voice. Mm -hmm. Ross mm. I am the voice. Mm. The church needs to understand it's the voice. Mm -hmm. There are people who want to listen, but the question is, are you speaking to them? When you see a sheep, you know a sheep and a goat and a cow? Mm -hmm. When to you, the cow is doing, ah. Mm. But to another cow, it's probably telling it, I love you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm. You have to be on, on a frequency mm. to understand the frequency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To you, a dog is barking. Woo, woo, woo. Mm. And then you realize the way the dog changes the way it's barking. There's a time it barks, ah. Is paid, something is paid for another. Woo, 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 really something, someone is in the compound. But to another dog, they communicate. communicate. There is a language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to take people mm -hmm. to the realm mm -hmm. where whatever we speak, mm -hmm. they're in that. Mm -hmm. When you're tuning the radio, mm -hmm. you see, before you get the frequency, there is shh, mm -hmm. a lot of every human being who doesn't know Jesus mm -hmm. is trying to tune. Mm -hmm. Shh. And then you notice there's a part where that thing ends. And then, they go, Good evening, and then the first five seconds determined either this person is making sense or you still keep searching. The church needs to make so much sense that if you make a mistake of tuning in, you are first few seconds. I know, I know, I know. That is how I would answer it. Yes. So, uh, now we've we've made we've made an awareness of of the, to, the totality of God um, because um, as you say we believe that uh, everyone is hung, has the hunger mm -hmm. for God mm -hmm. everyone every human being even if maybe they they won't know it's God mm -hmm. they're looking it's for it's God <laughs> but it's the hunger because God is the only as you mentioned that can fulfill that gap that is in, is in a human being, God is the only one. So now, um, I think I think I have no more questions for now. Uh, I don't know if you you would like to. People should understand why we uh, we, we I'm the one who is questioning you and not my wife. <laughs> 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 but it, it's not necessary that because we we are here to hear what God is telling us and what the secrets and I'm sure for for those who are tuned well the frequency mm. who are not we are not hearing the dog putting hoo -hoo -hoo only that mm. who are really getting exactly what, what we are saying um, uh, I'm sure some secret were revealed so we need to go to, to the place whereby the church has to be aware that people are tuned People are listening. People are listening, and they are not. They're not just your people. The way you think that those people who are sitting sitting in front of you are your people. They are not just your people. They are here. They are listening. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, and then um, I like the way you brought, you brought it. I love it. 
you brought in a way that this knocking is for everyone. Anyone. Actually now, now you, you brought it well that now Jesus is knocking to every door, to everyone. So now it's our work. It's it's our job to hear and open. Not welcome, not telling him to come in because mm -hmm. he's going to come in. You cannot resist because Jesus is so sweet. He's, uh, he's the totality. He has the totality. So, thank you very much for now. <laughs> I don't know if you have something you want to add. Well, I think I think yeah. it's just to first of all thank you for mm. for this opportunity, mm. and 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 let people know mm. that you can get more of this mm. um, on our platforms. Mm. We might not be in a position to get to you. But you see, God gives ideas, and all these ideas are supposed to be used for the glorification of God in the life of people. Mm -hmm. So YouTube is a, is a frequency, mm -hmm. Facebook is a frequency, mm -hmm. Twitter, Instagram, all those are frequencies. Mm -hmm. Some of them use them to, to do wrong things, mm -hmm. but as we've used them to just make people aware that someone is knocking. Mm -hmm. So you, we, we, you can follow us on our Instagram walls, you can follow us on our mm -hmm. Facebook channel, they will be going down your screens, mm -hmm. just to get to be in a position mm -hmm. Where are you here? I would tell people this as we finish. Be careful when you are, when you are desire, when you notice there is a desire. Be very careful if that desire is not met because it turns into rage. Anytime you want to succeed so bad and then you realize that thing is not coming, at one point it turns and you begin to feel like, ah, probably it's not meant for me. It's because you're in an environment that is not pushing you to the faith level. Mm. So I would just tell people, mm. your faith will always equal your teacher. Don't, any time you see a fake, mm. eh, mm -hmm. Papa Emile, mm -hmm. it is a sign there is an original. Yes. Mm. There is no $1,000 note. Mm -hmm. So you cannot create a $1,000 note. Mm -hmm. You first of all have to look at the original. Mm -hmm. That's what Satan does. Mm -hmm. He does not have the ability to create. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. He has the ability to imitate. That's why the Bible says he comes in the form, in the form, you know, as a serpent, as what. That's all he does. He has to look at the originality of God. What did God create? And then he tries to counterattack it. Even the Bible says when he comes, uh, uh, when the enemy comes in like a flood. Like when you see the word like. God is the only flood of floods. When God releases his blessing, they're the ones that come in. The Bible says he moves like a rolling lion. The Bible says Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. So he always looks at the original and creates a counterpart. So anytime you see the fake of something, that is not a sign for you to quit God. Desire, and then once you desire to hear, God will always bring the original you away. Like the way he's brought our viewers our way. And this will keep continuing and will keep teaching people the secrets of the kingdom of God. Actually, this, 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 um, this channel and, and this uh, class, we call it the School of Wisdom. Mm -hmm. Overflowing wisdom. Whatever you are going to get on this platform is totally wisdom that is overflowing. Mm -hmm. Because I can only share when my cup is overflowing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if we only have one cup and we're all thirsty, <laughs> we'll, just we'll just, you know, <clears throat> and it will not be enough. So we want God to give, to show, to, we want people to know. Whatever is ready, available from God, mm. is not limited. Mm. There is overflowing abundance. There is overflowing success. Mm. There is overflowing victory. Mm. There is overflowing increase. All those things have an overflowing concept. So people should just reach out to God, mm -hmm. understand who God is, desire to know God, mm. and faith cometh by yeah. hearing. Be where you are hearing mm. the right thing. Mm. And automatically, mm. God will knock on that door and you will open that door and he will come in and dine with you. The word dine means let's eat. And when God serves, he serves wisdom. When you begin to eat of that plate, automatically things began, begin just to lose. That's how you are set free. Until he dines, you are bound. But anytime you meet Jesus, things just so thank you very much. My name is John Lute. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Berus <laughs> Makaya, our very able woman of God, mm -hmm. who happens to be the wife of the general himself, <laughs> Papa Emile. Yeah, yeah. And this has been nice, and I'm grateful for that. We are grateful, mm -hmm. and also we are grateful for you. Um, 
for giving us your time and we are sure that uh, we will be, will be coming back again and again and, and, and share what you've um, the, the ideas that we are getting, the secrets that are hidden. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>